the year, I think, is the beautiful struggle. We lost a lot of close games this year. And that's the struggle. But it's beautiful because we know where it will get us. You know, those games got us to win at Madison Square Garden. 78-67, the final. The Illini's first win against a ranked opponent since March 10 of 2016. The win against Michigan State. They're storming the court in Champaign. We haven't done this in a while. The Illini have defeated Michigan State 79 to 74. From the struggle, you learn that those are the lessons. So that's why it's beautiful. That's really good. That's really good. The best part of this, it's been fun again. It's been fun to be around these guys. This team has personality. It's just like every day you sprinkle a little fertilizer on it and you see, you see something else grow. This year, a lot more guys buy into the system when a new coach comes on campus. Uh, a lot of guys, you know, sometimes they don't want to do it his way, but uh, in order for it to be successful, you have to do it his way. And when everybody's on the same page, you can see it. Orange air, blue there, let's go. Come on, back, 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 back. Gordon, go, no, back, no, back, go, 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 go. Practice is practice uh, with Coach Underwood. You know, Coach really challenges you. You let a freshman knock you over like that? Really challenges you. Come on, you gotta go to the glass offense hard every time. You don't walk him out, you're running. They came here, it's 11th ranked program in the history of the game. That means a lot. We haven't achieved at, at, at being exclusive or being elite in the Big Ten in, in a few years. And we came here to try to do that. Now we've been able to establish a culture. And this group has stayed confined to what we're about and what we're trying to accomplish. And that brings a smile to my face because we've, we've, we've grown a lot. First and foremost, I'm a teacher. I get to go every single day and have a basketball court as my classroom. And I get to teach life lessons on a basketball court. Okay, you're coming down. You're setting a little clip screen. You're breaking up. You're breaking to the corner. You're breaking up to catch it there. Very intense guy. Uh, that's the first thing that comes to mind. We're going to call a foul before the shot. Brad Underwood wanted to walk. You guys see it on the sideline. We see it in practice, we see it every day. When people like see him hold this coach Underwood, they like kind of scared, not really, but kind of scared. So that's pretty funny to me because I would never be scared of my own coach, you know. What I really appreciate about Coach Underwood, he's a real, real dude. Like there is not a lot of dudes like him. No, stop, stop. If you're on it, if you're touching it, if you're touching it. I think my dad's perceived as a coach that gets on his guys. Next, 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 next. But I think what a lot of people don't know is, is is how he is off the court with us. I want that denied. I want that denied. Understand? That's all I want to work on is this clip screen. One of the challenges of, of being a 26-year assistant coach, you don't control time, and um, you know, so I was I was I was gone a lot. I wasn't available. So, literally, the first time we stepped on the court at, at Stephen F. Austin and he was a player, was the actual first time of, of coaching him. I mean, I saw one quarter of a middle school game in, in two years of middle school basketball when we were in Manhattan, Kansas, one quarter. I missed every other game. I'm out seeing everybody else's kids play, but not watching my own. I'm really blessed because I walk on the court every single day and I get to dab my son up. That's pretty cool. Not everybody gets to do that. And he knows when we step on the court, it's basketball. He knows when we step off the court, it's, it's dad. Places we've lived, all of them. Start from the beginning. Okay, let's see, I gotta think about this. Abilene, Texas, Dodge City, Kansas, Macomb, Illinois, Daytona Beach, Florida, Manhattan, Kansas, Columbia, South Carolina, Nacogdoches, Texas, Stillwater, Oklahoma, and Champaign, Illinois. You packed? Not yet. You gotta pick out what you wanna wear and then I go from there. Accessorize. 
Every experience is new with this group, and Mackey's one of those elite buildings in college basketball. They're a great basketball team, but yet we're not practicing to lose.